Hi guys, Austin here from Mighty with another quick how-to video for you. Today we're talking about how to change the belts on the Carpet Shark CRB. Let's get started. Alright guys, so I've got the 10 inch shark here with me. Like all CRBs, that internal drive system is going to contain wear parts. That means over the normal course of use, they will eventually start to wear down and need to be replaced. On your average CRB, that means the internal drive gears will wear and maybe even strip completely. That's going to render your CRB completely useless until you can get it to a service mechanic and who knows when they're going to have that back to you. In contrast, Mighty's Carpet Shark CRBs are belt driven. The internal belt drive is designed to be replaced in the field in about five minutes using nothing but a good set of Allen wrenches. So that's what we're about to do right now. All right, so first step is to remove this side panel here. You're gonna to wanna to remove the one that's on the same side as the foot switch right there. I'm gonna use my eighth inch Allen wrench and go ahead and start removing the screws that hold the panel into place. All right, so once I have all the screws out, I can go ahead and remove the panel revealing the internal drives. Next step is going to be take a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench and we're going to go ahead and loosen the belt tensioner. It's this piece right here in the middle. Go ahead and pick one of the screws, does not matter which one, but you're going to have to remove it completely. There we go. And you're going to loosen the other one next to it, allowing the belt tensioner to twist. There we go. And now I've got these belts nice and loose. I'm going to go ahead and slide it off the gears starting from the lower bottom gear. Now these are straight from the factory so there's nothing wrong with this belt. Obviously one of these would need replacing so I'm going to take my replacement belt. We're going to go ahead and thread it over the small gear first. We're just doing everything in reverse. Go ahead and stretch it over the bottom gear. Thread the teeth in. See it fits in nice. All right, and we're gonna put our belt tensioner back into place. There we go. All right, same Allen wrench. Tighten the bolt back down. It's a good idea to go ahead and retighten the other one as well. Great, we are in business. We're gonna go ahead and plug that in. You wanna test it to make sure the belts all run uh, without slipping or anything. And then we can go ahead and put my cover back on with the same screws that we just used. All right guys, so now we've got the panel back on here. A uh, little pro tip, if it is a little snug putting it back on, you can just take a regular Phillips screwdriver and just loosen the panels here on the side and it should pop right in with no trouble. And now with that, you guys are ready to get back out there into the field.